And Sarasota city leaders are also poised to speak out on this issue. The city will become the first in southwest Florida to demand a ban on military-grade assault weapons among civilians. ABC 7's Adam Cellini joins us live from a local gun store called Young Guns. Adam, how are the gun advocates responding to this initiative? Well, Scott, there's a lot of concern and frustration because the city of Sarasota is targeting uh, firearms like this AR-15 for its presence in some of these sev uh, some of these recent shootings. But uh, here at Young Guns and Safety, they feel that too much of the blame is being pointed on these tools and not enough in terms of policy changes are being directed at those who are using them. City leaders are ready to promote a ban on military-grade assault rifles. These are just flat-out weapons of war, and they have no place in the streets of American cities. After the loss of 49 lives in the Orlando nightclub massacre, including Sarasota's own Eddie Sotomayor, city manager Tom Barwin will ask colleagues Monday to support his resolution, a call to state and federal lawmakers to ban the public sale of high-powered assault rifles. This is just emptying people's souls, and, and there's no reason for it. So I think we as a city would feel remiss if we didn't look at what we could do to minimize the, the proliferation of these weapons. Local gun store owner Michael Young agrees with the call for change, but says lawmakers should pick another target. I don't understand how, let's ban the guns. The guns are bad. What happened to all the mental institutions in the country where we would have people that were mentally unstable that would go to them. They're gone. Sporting rifles, as Young calls them, are top sellers and something he highly recommends for home defense. Could a pistol or a shotgun work just as well for home defense? Pistols, not so much, because what if there's multiple assailants and you have your little trusty five shot revolver? You only have five rounds. You know, I want to be able to defend myself. Former police officer and school safety advocate Kurt Lavarello applauds the city, saying more guns will never solve gun violence. It's ludicrous that we start having that kind of thinking that we just start arming more people and we'll, and we'll have less gun violence. Crazy. The citizens of America should stop having to take bullets for the gun industry. Yeah, Barwin says he'll leave defining the terms military grade and assault weapon to the higher level policy makers. But in the meantime, he does hope Sarasota's initiative inspires other communities to reach out and make their voices heard. Live in Sarasota, I'm Adam Cellini, Scott and Haley, back to you.